What is up guys? Today is back day and yeah we are right now starting with pull-ups. I always start with pull-ups because it gets good blood flow in my back to start with. I gotta warm up my back really well because it's a weak point and yeah it just takes longer honestly to um, get that mind muscle but yeah here we go we're doing three sets of pull-ups and this is my third set already because my camera wasn't fucking working. But yeah, we're doing eight to 10 reps. Let's get it. Head above that bar. Nice back squeeze. Ooh, yeah, you can do also assisted pull-ups. Um, that's another like alternative I use, um, especially if my tendon right here hurts. Sometimes it hurts when I do pull-ups. So I'll do some assisted so it's a little easier. And assisted also, um, you get a lot more um, squeeze and contraction with your bag, especially if you're, um, a little weak in the back areas like me but let's get to this lift eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh, fifteen so I like, I do a lot of wide squeezing movements to trigger that area. But that was 15 reps. That was 15 reps for the first set. And now um, I'm only going to go up a little bit from this weight um, because I just can't go, when I go too heavy, I use my arms and I will have straps usually, but I don't. So yeah, we're just going light. Nice slow contractions. Let's go, let's get a juicy fucking pump. So I'm resting. I'm resting about one minute. Short rest because volume's high today. Short breaks. So the sweat's gonna be kicking in. Pump's about to be kicking in. Alright, same weight, same reps. Let's go. Nice slow. Like right now it's starting to burn. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Two more. Oh, halfway through your set, you gotta be hurt. Um, if you start hurting right at the end, you're not doing. It. You don't have enough weight, um, or you're just not doing that contraction right. So, second exercise: Smith machine bent over rows. We're starting just with two ten, two tens on each side, not too heavy. Hold on. So there's these little hooks. So we're not gonna bend all the way over, but we're just going uh, like halfway. Just come up. I'm still moving my still moving my shoulders forward, shoulders back. Focusing on really squeezing. Squeezing my I'm not focused on anything but my Ron boys right now. I'm going all the way up to my stomach, tapping my stomach, and going right back down. 
you don't need a lot of weight. Like right now, I'm burning. Ooh. Oh, that's good. And now, um, I'm only going up a little bit. I'm gonna probably put a five on each side and then keep that weight. Because all I really want is my contraction with my back. I wanna really feel that squeeze. I wanna feel the blood rush through my rhomboids because I need my shit to grow. Hands a little more than shoulder width apart. Squeeze. It's almost like shrugs, but I'm squeezing my lower rhomboids instead of just upper. So it's rhomboids and traps all together. When it comes to consistency in the gym and the kitchen, just fitness all around, getting in shape, uh, there's um, not too much that goes into it, but these things that go into it uh, can be difficult. Um, so the first one is, is you need to find a routine that fits you. So find things that you can do every day on a consistent basis without getting too bored. Um, and then food, you need to find foods that you love to eat that you can still find results with. So whether if you love burgers, you know, whether if you need a little bit of ice cream during the week, there's always um, ways to still eat those things and achieve the results you want to achieve. So you don't need to cut everything out and eat dog food, you know what I mean? You can still have your burger, you can still have a little bit of ice cream cake or ice cream and still achieve results. It's just about moderation. It's about eating 80% of good food and that 20% of pretty much whatever you want. And then obviously incorporate training that you love, that you can consistently do too. That's also huge. Um, a lot of people get it wrong by starting in the gym and just going balls out, balls in deep, like cutting everything out that they've been eating in the past and just going cold turkey with just hard training, perfect diet. It's just not attainable and or sustainable. So you need to work around um, still being able to eat the things you love and still achieving results. That's the whole point of getting in shape and loving it at the same time. So let's get it. Third set.
we most likely don't have like a great life because you have to worry about health problems all the time. You have to worry about going to the doctor, taking your medications. So why make an excuse to have to be healthy? You know what I mean? So if you're a mom, you don't have time. I get it, you have kids. You don't have a time to go to the gym. To me, it's kind of bullshit because yeah, maybe you don't have to go to the gym, but you can still do some type of workout at your house. You can do bodyweight squats, you can do lunges, you can do some push-ups. You can literally do wall sits. I can name a bunch of things. So don't make excuses to be healthy. Um, and for a majority of you guys that don't have kids or even just have a job, a long job, you can still take time out of your day, 30 minutes, 45 minutes to go to a gym your apartment gym, free gym in your apartment and work out. So there's always an alternative to working out, to getting in some type of good shape, just to get it in good health in general. So stop making excuses and stop making excuses for yourself and get to it. All right, last workout, last exercise. We're doing some T-bar chest supported rows. We're keeping it light. Boom. Shoulders all the way forward for a perfect stretch. And then come back, squeeze. Perfect stretch. Four. Nothing hurts to go a little more, you know? All right, I'm gonna end the video off here. I'm just, I wanna do two more sets. Keep the weight the same. Focus on my contraction. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Hit the gym, no excuses, let's go.